Uh, welcome back, fellow astronomers, to part two of the uh, low spec uh, spectrometer by Paul Firla. Hopefully, Paul got that a little closer that time. Um, so, in the last one, we talked about 3D printing, uh, where I left off. Um, I did, as promised, uh, reprinted uh, the top cover. Turned out actually really beautiful. Um, again, you can see after the layers, the last two layers of the lettering, I simply changed to white, changed my filament, and then printed the rest in black. Turned out really nice. Uh, the only minor thing, Paul, is for whatever reason, the little uh, uh, indicator is uh, four millimeters, uh, 0.4 millimeters higher than the rest. Um, so then that's still printed in black. And that's also true when you print the letters. If you don't print those with uh, supports, it, it, the little uh, triangle indicator thing just goes all over the place. So that might just be something, maybe make that the same height as those. That would be, be a nice little fix for people. But regardless, really, really minor. Um, on that, if you did notice on the last video, Paul was super kind and left some great comments. Um, and, and they really helped me out. Uh, one thing... Essentially, I'm going to reprint everything. Turns out that PLA is not what you want to print this in. Uh, all the wonders of PLA, it is transparent to um, infrared and near infrared. Uh, so Paul recommends printing in ASA uh, with carbon fiber. I actually couldn't find that in the States. I know it's available in Europe. Uh, there was one place I found it on Amazon, but I got horrible reason to use. So I literally just ordered up some ASA and I'll print it. 100% solid. Uh, forget the whole infill thing. So I am going to reprint it all in ASA uh, eventually, but clearly this is still a, a whole learning curve here as, as far as the first go around. So good enough for now. Um, so with that, uh, moving on, the next thing I have to mention and uh, talk about a noob, the, the guide mirror that goes to your, your, your guide camera the pickoff mirror. It is not like a pickoff mirror that we're all used to with an off-axis guider. Uh, please note, it actually rotates or is pointing the opposite, dire opposite direction. When I installed this, I had it 180 degrees flipped. I couldn't figure out why I couldn't get uh, the, the image in the, uh, in the camera. I was going, what the heck? And I brought it into CAD and it's 30 degrees and I'm going, well, that's stupid. It should be 45 degrees. So I actually redrew that whole piece, reprinted it at 45 degrees only to realize no, it's not. It actually reflects off of the uh, OVIO uh, slit. Once you get that, I didn't have it at the time. This is at 15 degrees. This is at 30 degrees, hence the 45 degrees to go straight in the camera. So uh, again, this reflects off of there. Not, It's not a pickoff mirror. So that was a, a, a clear new mistake. Um, the first thing that I did, I actually had an extra uh, kind of a, a indicator assembly. Actually, this worked out really nice. I'm really glad I actually had this extra one because it was really slick. Um, I put a piece of just a sticker on there as well as just a little uh, mirror that I had. Got that at a hobby store. I actually had a bunch of them. Um, and with that, I literally just took a razor blade and cut a slit. I really doubt you can see the slit on the camera. I really doubt it. Um, but just etched a slitch in the back of that, uh, again, just for for the first round go around. Um, what I then did was, um, so a couple things. One, I also had a laser kilometer. I don't know if you really need that. It was nice. Uh, I had one, so I shoved it in. Um, and with that, without the, uh, the wheel in, I could then align my uh, main reflection mirror that it was centered on the collimator onto the uh, the center of the grating. Um, but to be honest, I'll, I'll talk about that in a second. Uh, the, I, I don't think you really needed to do that. So um, regardless, I put this in. I then just had a light over here. Sorry about the mess. Um, which is just a halogen uh, bulb that I've got a little hole in. That's that's essentially my going to be my calibration light. Um, but to start with, ooh, just go with the big, fat, bright light shining into your scope, which is brilliant. Or sorry, I started with that. I went ahead and put this in, and with uh, with the pinpoint uh, light focused exactly on that. Then I went ahead and put in the real slit. I, the focus changed a tiny bit, but essentially had that focused on there. Then I went to just a, a super bright light and 
that's obviously now going into my main mirror. And what I found on this main mirror then was when I look through here, and this you can't really tell by the way you're looking at it, but when I look through here, it's really sensitive, but you can clearly see a nice um, circle in there. And I use that little circle for essentially adjusting. So I, I centered that circle that you can see in there um, on the, the grating and it, it seems to be right. So the next big question was, how do you adjust this collimation lens? Uh, I had no clue. So on the forums and whatnot, some people had some ideas. I had printed out a little mirror um, with the same width as, as the grating. Again, I didn't really want to touch the grating or take that out, so I was really worried about that. So I put this in. <sighs> Clearly the light just goes over there and reflects. I was trying to use some other mirrors and whatnot to, to see that, and you can, um, another uh, person on the, on the forum mentioned possibly using um, just printing that out of a little 45 degree piece that you can also lay in there. And with that, you can look down with, um, with my little crummy grating. I can clearly see the slit. But with that, I could move this all the way forward and all the way back all over the place. And I could not see a difference in the focus. Um, so what Paul had said in, in the last YouTube video, and it turns out works beautifully, is just take a guide scope. This was actually the smallest guide scope that I had. Um, but throw that in, throw a lens, uh, uh, eyepiece in it, focus it out at infinity. So I just went out and, and focused it on a, on a star. So it's focused at infinity. And once I had all this set up, literally I just took the tube or the, the scope and put it up to the front and it was, I, I was, at first I was going, oh, there's no way I'm going to find this. And you can see it perfectly. I mean, of course you got to hold it and kind of adjust it a little bit, but once you see it, you see exactly a really, really nice uh, red, red or green or whatever the, the, the color you have, wavelength you happen to hit. Um, I did get a picture of it on my camera. There's no way I can video it with that, um, but it was clear as a bell. And uh, in fact, just adjusting this a tiny bit either way, I, I mean, you could clearly see exactly where focus is at. I mean, and it's so sensitive that I was going, geez, even any little thermal and temperature changes on this, I wonder how that's going to adjust the focus. So I, I guess if there was um, an upgrade that I'd recommend to Paul was this is a little cheesy on just having the bolt under the, 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 the screw under there that you loosen and kind of got a hand move it back and forth. I don't know how much that changes. Maybe you do just set it once and I'll never have to deal with it again. Um, but clearly doing it with, with, um, with the scope, it was super easy and it was clear as a bell where that should be positioned. It turned out, as you can see from mine, it's almost exactly centered, which I was also, I guess, just happy with because I was going back and forth and I went, okay, that's perfect. And then I looked in there and I went, oh, that's, that's pretty much centered. So great, I mean, that, that made me happy. Um, so I think that's I think that's about everything for for this video. Um, as far as snapping in all the optics, everything was excellent. I did use a little bit of glue, a little bit of silicone glue on the back of the uh, the pickoff mirror, as well as um, the main reflection mirror. Everything else, I was so happy. It just it 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 went together just like a glove. Um, again, hats off, Paul. It really fit together very nicely. Uh, so next step for me is going to be to actually mount my camera in here and um, go ahead and, and, and try to take a, a spectrograph uh, and see what we get. Thanks, guys.